Hello guys. I know some of you guys um, watch this kind of uh, my videos a lot of times, and I really appreciate it. So I decided to take a video to help you study English more. So today I invited a guest here. This is Christine, and she was a student here, and now she's a teacher here. How are you, Christine? Hi, I'm good. How good, are you? Good, good. So it's been like well, a year or two, maybe, since we took this video before, right? I guess three years. Three years, yeah, really? Yeah, three years ago. Okay. Because it's been like two years since I started working here. So, uh, yeah, I think it's almost like three years ago. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. How are you feeling? Like you um, studied here before mm -hmm. and now you are teaching English. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, yeah. uh, I really like to work here. Mm -hmm. Because I think Ian is the best boss. And seriously, <laughs> it is not a kind of letter. Yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, and and um, I really like to teach, mm. and I really like to meet students who improve their English. You know, because of me. I mean, mm. it is not because of me 100%. But mm. I really like to, you know, like help them. Okay, so I invited uh, Christine here today to talk about how to become friends with foreigners. Mm -hmm. Because I heard from her that she made a lot of foreign friends. So, Christine, can you tell me how many foreign friends you have now? How many? Yeah. Um, I think almost like 10 or more than 10, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, because mm -hmm. they're not came from a uh, say kind of same country. Okay. Because I met a, and, and uh, I met a, met a lot of foreign friends in a lot of countries. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. mm -hmm. about 10, I guess. About 10. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't even have one friend. Yeah. How did you get the 10 foreign friends? Um, I really like traveling. So, mm -hmm. but uh, before starting, you know, like studying English, yeah. even when I go to like travel like that, I couldn't make a lot of kind of foreign friends because mm -hmm. I couldn't speak English, mm -hmm. but I, I, I've always wanted to make some, someone. Mm -hmm. So maybe last year I went to Vietnam mm -hmm. by myself mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. And that was my first time to go on a trip alone, you know. Mm. I searched some kind of activities on Airbnb mm. and um, there is some kind of tour activity. Mm. And, um, and Vietnam is really famous for kind of motorcycle like mm -hmm. that. So they are kind of like native, like, you know, the real Vietnamese and oh. they're like university students okay. and they like tour me okay. with their own motorcycle okay. like that okay. and um, actually Vietnamese they don't speak in English mm. so it is really hard to find a local restaurant or mm. local kind of really good place mm. so they kind of introduced me but how do they speak English you said oh they can speak English you mm. know because they are kind of university students so mm. they studied English okay. and yeah and they did that as a kind of part-time job because oh, they okay. want to learn English. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and I think it's a really good opportunity to learn English to them. Because mm -hmm. usually foreigners take the motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mostly they told me like most mm. of the guests are like American. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how was their English level comparing to Koreans? Uh, I think... Korean university students. I think they're really good, I think, because... Better than Korea? Yeah, oh. better than Korea, because uh, I think, you know, as an English teacher, their mm. grammar is not that good, but mm. they just speak. They mm. are not afraid of speaking English. Okay. Yeah, so the point is actually just okay. talking, right, okay. to start English, uh -huh. especially when it comes to speaking. Yeah. So I think they're pretty good. You just took a motorcycle mm -hmm. tour and how did you become friends with the oh, person? Yeah. There was kind of, kind of another people mm -hmm. from Singapore, from Singapore mm -hmm. and she was a kind of singer-songwriter and she was... You took a motorcycle with a Yeah, person. yeah, yeah, oh, okay. other person. Okay. So we moved with a kind of two teams, ah, you know, yeah, see, see. yeah. Okay. So, so it was, you know, like four people. Uh -huh. So she was from Singapore mm -hmm. And um, she, at the time, she was, she got married like two weeks ago, mm -hmm. but her husband has had to work at the time. Okay. So she came here with Vietnam by Hello? herself, just okay. like me. Okay. So we changed our kind of Instagram account and we started uh, talking about that. And, okay. she, and uh, she told me like, hey, I'm going to go to Korea for honeymoon with my husband uh, like okay. that. Okay. So uh -huh. after like one month, uh -huh. she came to Korea and I uh -huh. met 
her and her husband. Ah, wow. And I went to Dongdaemun ah. and I introduced Gwangjang Market like that. Okay. And her husband told me, I really want to eat some live octopus because I watched some old, old boy, that Korean okay. movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like okay. that. Ah. And that scene was really famous, you know. Okay. Yeah, okay. that main character eating live octopus. Okay. You know, yeah, so. I bought that, you know, like, okay. this is live octopus, and okay. we usually eat with raw beef with live octopus like that. You gave a tour. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we became a friend, and I still keep in touch with her and her okay. husband. How do you keep in touch? On Instagram? Yeah, on Instagram. Uh, and I think, yeah, some foreigner, especially who really likes Korean, because kind of K-Wave is really, you know, be in fashion nowadays, so some people have Kakaoto account. Okay. Yeah, some okay. foreigners. So uh -huh. sometimes I can talk in on Kakao Talk, okay. but mostly on Instagram, okay. I guess. Okay. Yeah. So if you don't use, if someone doesn't use Instagram, mm -hmm. it's really hard to uh, keep in touch with foreigners. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, okay. I guess. Okay. Yeah. But uh, nowadays, I think most of people have Instagram, mm -hmm. or sometimes if you want to like make a like foreign friends or keep in touch, mm -hmm. you should. You know, I think use maybe Snapchat or mm -hmm. WhatsApp like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one story. Yeah. What about like other seven friends? Ah, uh, there's seven friends. Is there any like, special episode or something? Yeah, like special that? episode. Like mm -hmm. um, the other friends is uh, they work. Uh, they came from like Netherlands or Ireland like mm -hmm. that, and um, like there is a pub where I go usually. Uh -huh. So I told to the owner, like, I teach English like that, and, okay. so yeah. Okay, you just became a uh, regular. Yeah, you're yeah. right, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then yeah. he uh, remembered that, okay. and um, and I don't know why, but in, yeah. in the pub, there are yeah. so many foreigners, you know, yeah. and they work uh -huh. for Samsung like that, uh -huh. so they from, like, Netherlands and Ireland like that, uh, okay. so she he introduced me uh -huh. to foreigner like, that okay. because they yeah. always wanted to make Korean friends okay. like that so okay. he told them like uh -huh. hey she is Christian and she is English teacher uh -huh. like that okay. so we started talking you okay. know okay. like okay. The, yeah okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay that's how you made yeah. foreign friends yeah, in yeah. Korea yeah in Korea so she go to a bar a pub yeah regularly yeah <laughs> and be close to the owner first yeah that's the yeah thing. So do you usually see your foreign friends mm -hmm. at the pub? Um, do you also hang out outside? Uh, sometimes I hang out mm -hmm. because they sometimes uh, told me like I want to go to somewhere like especially like Hengkongdong like that oh, okay. because Hwasong is okay. really famous. So whenever you give a tour mm -hmm. to foreigners, mm -hmm. the, do they usually treat you? Or? Um, it depends, I uh, guess, uh. because when I met Singaporean friends, uh. I paid. Even you know? though you gave a tour. Yeah, yeah. Tour. Be because it is yeah. kind of present to me, for, mm. for, for them, because they came here as a honeymoon. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Mm. But mm. I think that, that other foreign friends, they are mm. pretty old, older than me. Okay. Yeah, so they and really don't, yeah. Because I don't have a usually foreign friend mm -hmm. outside of this academy. Mm -hmm. So usually people are really afraid mm -hmm. to talk with foreigners because uh, people think they there might be different culture or yeah. different kind of mindset. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think? Do you think they really have um, different mindset? Actually, at, at first I thought like that, you know. But as, as time goes by, I'm getting close, cl mm -hmm. you know, closer to uh -huh. him. Uh, my mind is a little bit changed because okay. they're a human being, uh -huh. you know, the uh -huh. same as uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. So they, you know, are happy and, you know, like be sad because of their boyfriend or girlfriend like uh, that uh, about the relationship and they are really considering about their money or future uh, like uh, that. Okay. So I think it is totally same. So don't be afraid and just talk, start mm. talking. Okay. Yeah. I hope this kind of video really helps you. And if you have any comments or any questions to me or Christine, please leave a comment or click like button and share the video. Okay, thank you so much and I'll probably see you next time. Bye. Bye.